Hello, this is Christy Falk with Create with Christy. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator, and I'm here to show you how to make an upright Z-fold card. I've been having fun doing these fun folds for you, and I hope you're enjoying the videos too. And this one is gonna use uh, the Stamp Set Positive Thoughts that's in the mini catalog, and it's also using the dies that coordinate with it called Nature's Thoughts dies. And these are only available until March uh, 31st. So as I'm uh, recording this, this is uh, the 27th, so you only have a few more days to be able to get those dies. So let me show you everything that you need to get started, and then uh, when I'm all done showing you all the supplies you need, then you can pause the video and then come back when you've got all your supplies together and come make the card with me. Okay, first off, you need a piece of Blackberry Bliss cardstock. Let's do it this way so you can definitely see it. This is a four and a quarter by 11, so it's four and a quarter by 11. Then you need another piece of Blackberry Bliss, really just a scrap, but uh, this one is a four and a quarter by three quarters. Then you need a piece of Petal Pink. This is four inch by five and a quarter inches. And another piece of Petal Pink. This is uh, four by two and a half inches. Then you need Whisper White cardstock. This one is a five inch by five inch piece. And this one is a three and a quarter by four and three quarter inch piece of Whisper White. You're also gonna need a piece of Perennial Essence Designer Series paper. This is in the annual catalog. Isn't that gorgeous? I love that. This one is a four inch by two and a half. And then you need a scrap piece of copper foil. So I just grabbed a scrap piece that was in my stash. Okay, so that's all the cardstock you need. Now you also need the Mossy Meadow Classic Ink Pad, the Blackberry Bliss Classic Ink Pad, and the So Saffron Ink Pad. You need your, let me see here. This is something you don't have to have, but I'll be showing you how this helps with putting on intricate dies, but this is our uh, oh, embossing buddy. You also need mini glue dots. And let's see what else do we need here. Make sure I'm remembering everything. You need the uh, Scripty 3D folder. And you also need, like I said, the Positive Thoughts stamp set. Isn't that gorgeous? And this is in the uh, January to June mini catalog. And then these are the dies that coordinate with it, the Nature's Thoughts dies. And these, like I said, are only available for a few more days. You've got till Tuesday, March 31st. So you wanna get these quick if you don't have them yet. And the dies I'm gonna be using, I'm using this rectangle piece. And I love this because it, I don't know if you can tell in the video, but it does emboss, pretty neat. And I'll show you that here in a little bit. You need this border die. You need the butterfly, the leaves, and the big flower, and this one right here. And those, I'm used to, as you can see, I'm almost using all the dies. Okay, so I think that, oh, and you also need your paper trimmer. You'll need a paper trimmer that has a scoring tool. So if you don't have uh, one with a scoring tool, then if you've got um, our uh, Simply Scored scoring tool, that'll work too. Okay, now I've told you everything you need, so you can pause the video and come back when you've got all your stuff together. See you in a little bit. Okay, now I'm gonna bring in my Stampin' Trimmer and bring in my uh, 11 inch by four and a quarter inch piece of Blackberry Bliss. Now with the 11 inch side along the top, oh, first I wanna tell you, if you're using the Stampin' Trimmer, make sure you get this blade, the dark one, out of the way because this is the cutting blade. So we're not using that right now. We're just gonna use the scoring. So I wanna line the left side of this cardstock at the five and a half inch mark, right there. And you're gonna to need to put a little pressure and go over it a couple times to get a nice crease. Then it does help if you turn this over. If you forget to turn it over, that's okay. But if you turn it over, it'll help with the folding here later. And you're gonna line the left side up with a two and three quarter inch spot. And this will be all the scoring you need to do. So it's at the five and a half inch and the two and three quarter. And you turn it over in between scores. Okay, so the Z fold is super easy. So I, like I've said in other videos, you think opposite with score, uh, score lines, where you see the little mountain 
that's the inside of the fold. So that's what I've got there. So I'm gonna go ahead and fold it at the five and a half inch mark, which uh, folds it in half like a regular card. I'm gonna turn this over. And now, because I turned it over, the uh, mountain is on this side for this one. So now I'm gonna fold it up to make my Z. Okay, so actually, this is the bottom, this is the top. So that gives you your Z fold, as you can see. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and start showing you. Oh, one thing we can go ahead and do right away, grab your piece of designer series paper. This is that uh, four by two and a half inch piece. I'm gonna grab my snail. Oops, turn, open that up. Okay, and we are gonna put that. Now, I am gonna be covering up some of this along the top. So put the uh, edge that you want to be seen the most along the bottom. So I like that purple up there, but I think I like the pink showing a little more since my card base is already the dark purple. And you're just gonna center that like so. Okay. And now we're gonna go ahead and set this aside. Okay, now let's do some stamping. I'm bringing in my stamp and pierce mat. You don't need this because this is a rubber um, stamp, but I like using it because I think it gives a better impression. So I'm gonna take my leaf, make sure I get that inked up real well through the mossy meadow, looks pretty good. I'm gonna stamp this here on the bottom, and without re-inking, I'm gonna turn it over and stamp it again. That uses less cardstock that way. I like having the two different shades. I think that looks really neat. Now I'm gonna stamp the flower that's in the uh, Positive Thoughts stamp set. Use my So Saffron ink. And I'm gonna stamp two of these flowers on here. Okay. And I only have one more thing I need to stamp. That's the last time I used the So Saffron, so I'm gonna go ahead and close that one up. Now I need my uh, Blackberry Bliss. And I'm gonna stamp my Butterfly. And I think that's gonna fit over here okay. There we go. So those that's everything you're gonna stamp for right now. We will stamp again. Oh, here, I'm gonna keep my Blackberry Bliss open. That one I'm gonna use. I'm done with the Mossy Meadow, so we'll get that close so it doesn't dry up. Okay, now they're gonna, there's gonna be some die cutting done and some embossing. So you're gonna have this piece. You need the other piece of Whisper White, the three and quarter by four and three quarter inch piece and your copper foil scraps, and your, um, that thin strip, oh, there we go, I almost lost it. The uh, four and a quarter by three quarter inch piece, Blackberry Bliss. And then we're gonna be embossing the uh, large petal pink piece, the four by five and a quarter. Now, I've already done the die cutting for you, but I'm gonna hurry up and show you how the dies line up. This one goes right on here, like so. And then with this one, the flowers line up so nicely. Now the trick with the flowers, because this one sometimes can take a while to figure out. I try to get the side that looks the flattest. Sometimes this works, sometimes it doesn't. And this kind of looks like the flattest. Let's see if that's gonna work. Sometimes I still pick the wrong one. Oh, I picked the right one. But once you get it picked out, you can just keep moving it very slowly if you don't get it right the first time. But just make sure that that image is inside that opening and you don't see much white along the outer parts of it. So I love how our dies line up now. And then this is how this one will look when it's lined up. Those leaves are gonna fit perfectly and make sure this little uh, stem down here, make sure you see that in that little opening right there. Okay, let's go ahead and put this one over here. I made sure I stamped them the same direction so it'd be real easy to line up. So I'm seeing my green in there. So I know I've got it all lined up and the leaves look good. Then this one, you can get three of these out of the copper. This one is for the butterfly. So you can run those through the big shot and then you're gonna run it through again to die cut those. And then you're also going to die cut this rectangle out of this other white whisper white piece. So that's all the die cutting you're gonna do. And then you're going to emboss this by putting it in the scripty folder. Now the trick with this, you wanna make sure that you've got it in here right because you don't want the lettering to be sideways or upside down. So what you're gonna do, we're wanting the print to go this way. So you're gonna be putting it in this way. If you, I don't know if you can tell, this is the upright way for the way the print is, the right side. So I'm gonna, I wanna make sure that it goes in this way and then I line it up with that black line and so now that's lined up right, and then you're gonna put it in your big shot with a fold first. 
So that's how that works. So now I'll go ahead and bring all those pieces in here. I did them ahead of time just to save time. Aren't they pretty? I love all these little pieces. So we've got your three copper foil pieces. Oh, there's the other one. Your butterfly. I'm going to put all these in here so I don't lose them. Well, at least the butterfly because I'll be putting them on later. My two flowers and then my two branches. Now I left the piece in here because I want to show you how easy it is to get this to come out. I'm not even going to use my um, brush on this one. Once you get that, these little circle holes are the ones that get, the, uh, get it to start coming out for you. Take those out and I don't even have to use my paper pierce tool. I'm just taking my fingernail and most of these are coming. See how easy these are coming out? I was so, look, they're all gone. That simple. I love that. I wanted to make sure you saw how easy those come out. So you don't even have to bother to get your uh, brush out. So that's ready to go. Now we'll start putting this together. Let's go ahead and get this all uh, put together. First, I'm going to stamp. This one is the Friends Like You Mean More Every Year. Get my stamp and pierce mat back out again. And I'm going to stamp it with my Blackberry Bliss ink pad. That looks pretty good. I'm going to stamp it here on the bottom, making sure I get in between those embossed, the embossed border. Hope you can see that embossed border in the video. I really like that. I love the dies that cut and emboss at the same time. Actually, I guess that is an embossing. That is more um, little um, holes that it put in it, so it looks like it's sewn. Very cool effect. Okay, now we've got that ready. Let's go ahead and do the last of the stamping while I've got my ink pad out. This is that smaller piece of petal pink, the four by two and a half. I'm gonna take another greeting that's in the same set, sending positive thoughts and feeling and feel good wishes. So ink that up with my Blackberry Bliss. And I'm gonna stamp that near the top of the piece. There we go. I'm putting it on the top because this way you can uh, sign your name at the bottom. And we're making it small and you'll understand why here in a minute when we start putting the card together. So that is all the stamping that needs to be done. Kind of put this to the side again. Now we can start putting this, uh, des uh, design this. So what I did, I laid my faint piece, the lighter piece over here. I always suggest to just line everything up before you start putting it down. So that looks good. And then I put my flowers like this. I wanted that bottom one to be on top. And then just start sticking some of these inside underneath. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna remove my flowers again. I'm gonna pull this out, put some snail on it. I'm gonna grab, this looks a little uh, worse for wear, but this is a silicone craft mat that we sell. I think I have keep forgetting to get this out and I get glue on my workspace. If you don't want that, I love this stamp and pierce, not stamp and pierce mat. This is the silicone mat. <laughs> you want to, if you use that and if any, you get off with your adhesive, it'll get on this instead of your work area and it comes right off. Like I've got some glue right there. All I have to do is rub it and it's off. Very nice. I like my, I love that mat. So I'm going to put this on. So I knew I liked this one here. So I'm going to be putting this one underneath. So I'm going to hold this one in place. I'm going to have that top be near that top corner. Okay. Now I'm going to put this one on. Grab my silicone mat again. And then I'm going to put it on. I kind of liked this stem being in between the friends and the like. Don't know why. I just thought it looked good. And we'll do it like that. Okay, now I'm going to bring in one of these flowers. This one I'm going to just put on with my snail. And it's going to go up around here. That looks pretty good. Now this one I'm going to put on with dimensionals. Now I'm using mini dimensionals for this butterfly and you'll understand in a minute. So I'm just going to go ahead, instead of getting both of my sizes out, and I'm going to keep these in the middle. So I'm going to kind of make a little triangle reason I'm keeping them in the middle is because I'm going to be sticking these underneath it later and I don't want these getting in the way because sometimes you'll put that stem in and you're going to hit a dimensional if it's here on the edges. So put it in the middle. Get all those little pieces off. See if I can get this to work. This is something new I do now. Still getting the hang of it. Oh, perfect. See, I love that. All of those little pieces are stuck to the uh, 
pierce, oh, piercing tool. There we go. Couldn't think of the name there for a minute. Love those senior moments when you can't think of any words. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna put this down here. About so, so that's all popped up with those dimensionals. Now I'm gonna bring these cuties in. I love our copper foil, isn't that pretty? I really like that a lot. Now I'm only gonna put, and this is when the uh, silicone mat really comes in handy. Actually, I take that back, I forgot. I did both ways when I made this card and I uh, figured out I think the mini glue dots are easier. I'm just gonna put a glue dot here on these two big leaves down here. They get a little smaller as you go and you really don't need them on all of them, just on those two bottom ones and it's gonna stay on with no problem. Get that paper out of the way. And if the glue dot is sticking out at all, all you have to do is pinch the glue dot a little bit. So I'm putting that leaf right on top of that mini glue dot, okay? And then pop it up and they're both right there. Now this one, I don't know if you can tell in the video, but it's kind of sticking out a little bit. So I'm just gonna fold that in with my finger. It's okay for it to curl a little bit. And I'm gonna have this, and I'm gonna have it hang over this white piece a little bit which is fine because it's still gonna be within the card. And kind of angle it that way. But you definitely wanna still have those two leaves on the, uh, attached to the white. Okay, now I'll attach the next three the same way. Okay, that's everything I'm putting on this. Isn't that pretty? Now let's go ahead and bring in the card base. I'm gonna take, oh, I wanted to show you this too. There's that scripty. I hope you can see that in the light. Sometimes it's hard to tell, but it's a real fine uh, embossing. And the reason it's 3D, if you look real close, if you ever use this at home, look real close, you can see how the words are a little higher until it gets right at the end when it, like if with the and, the little curve at the end of the D is a little lighter. It's because like when you write, you end up lifting your hand up. So that makes it a little lighter. So that is, whoever made this really thought that through. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this on. I know I usually lose, use glue, but this one isn't, um, doesn't have a lot of real deep indentations like the others do, the other embossing folders do. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put this right here. And this is gonna be the inside. Fits perfectly. Now I wanted to have a place that you could still write. I really liked having this embossed for the look of the card when I'm done. That's why we're using this little piece. And this one will just get attached at the very bottom. I made it, this, if you remember, this is two and three quarter inches long. So I made this two and a half inches. That way it's hidden when it's closed. So you're not gonna see this little strip down here. So now it's nice and flat here and you can sign your name. Now we're going to take this little border and this is where my little embossing buddy comes in that I was telling you about. So there is, when you look at this, one side is kind of flat and this another, the other side's a little rounded. The rounded side is the side you want on top because I think the die kind of rounds the paper a little bit. So I'm gonna actually take my snail. I know normally it's like, oh, you don't wanna do that. All of the glue is gonna be sticking out of those um, pieces. Do it really lightly so you don't have uh, blue chunks because sometimes that'll happen if you do it too hard. Just go across it. So I just did it a few places. Now I'm gonna put this across the top and kind of center it. I'm gonna lay it down loosely right now in case I need to move it. That looks pretty good. Now I don't know if you can tell in the light, but there's some glue, little clear glue. It is clear, but it is a little sticky when you touch it. I learned this trick, it is so cool. You're gonna take your embossing buddy, just go over it a few times. That actually even takes some of the shiny away, but it takes the stickiness away a lot. If you still feel a little sticky, then you just do a little harder because it could be it didn't get inside the little grooves. There, I did a little harder and now it's not shiny either. Isn't that neat? I love that. So that's how you can put your delicate dies on without it sticking to everything. Now I'm gonna bring in my little butterfly. Now with this one, I'm gonna use little dimensionals because what this is gonna do is make it so this will go underneath that butterfly to keep it closed. And if you put a dimensional here in the middle, it doesn't stay closed very well. So I learned that the hard way when I was making this card yesterday. So what I decided, that's why I got my mini ones out instead of the regular ones. And I just put two right here on the top of the wings like so. Take those little pieces off. Yeah, that's the trick. If you do it at an angle, it comes right off. And then you still have all those pieces in your hand and not all over your house. Love that. Okay, now I am lining up 
the um, okay you see the center part here that's kind of go kind of go in between his antennas and the top of his wings are kind of going to uh, line up the edge top edge of the border there we go I'm having trouble thinking words today don't think I got enough sleep okay now this is the trick with this one to put it on and know where to put it now you don't want any glue on this top part because that's going to be sticking up out so I'm only going to put some glue here on the bottom part so I'm going to go across here a little under halfway and maybe another one here now the trick with this I am going to take this, I want it centered left and right, stick it in as far as it will go underneath that butterfly, okay? Then you make sure it's straight down here. Once you've got it in place, just push it down. Isn't that cool? Now you will probably have to play around with the fold. It's still going to pop up every once in a while. Isn't that pretty? I love that. And then they just open it up and there's your little saying. Very neat. I like this one a lot. So that, you see, that's why there's a little empty spot there. Because when it's closed, that little butterfly is on top. So I hope you enjoyed today's card. Let me show it to you at the side here. And I've got pictures on my blog. If you go down to the bottom, I've got a link to it. And it says it has all my uh, dimensions typed out for you. The supply list and some more pictures. So you can get some better angled pictures of it. Because sometimes it's hard to show all that in a video. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, and you'd love to not miss any of my videos, make sure you subscribe in the bottom right-hand corner, and make sure you click on that little bell as a note for notifications. That way you'll get notified from YouTube as soon as I have a video pop up and you won't miss one. So I hope you have a great day. You can also follow me on Pinterest, my blog, like I said, createwithchristy.com, and on my Facebook page and Instagram. Instagram, I've been neglecting. I'm going to try to get some more pictures up on that real soon. And um, I think that's it. I have to try to think for a second. If you have any questions, just please comment below. I love to talk with you. Talk with you. I know we're not talking in person, but I love to interact with you guys. So comments below. I love them. Thank you so much for watching my video. See you next time. Bye.